and welcome back to another POV. I am currently in a horse carriage with my parents and my sister and we are in Marrakesh in Morocco. Today I'll be walking around with my Tamron 17 to 70 and the Sony A6500 trying to get some shots. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, continuing the POV. Cute little post box here. I kind of like the color contrast. It's got like a very vibrant yellow color and it's surrounded by these green leaves, obviously with the Arabic writing on it. Just trying to think how I can compose it. There's not much I can use for foreground here, so maybe just a very simple sh straight on shot. There's my foreground. Okay, focus on the blue text. Nice. Increasing my shutter speed to 1 over 250 because the clouds are really bright. Can I take a photo of him? Bonjour, can I film? Thank you. I want to film him. On our lunch break now, and I'm quite liking this little scene. There's like a little scenic pocket um, where you can see like the landscape, well, all of the buildings <coughs> in the background of Marrakesh. And then you have an interesting little composition here with the red flower, which really stands out and like a half-half left-right split. I'm just gonna see how I compose this. But that's roughly the idea there. I'm going to take a quick picture of the lunch. I'm going to unscrew the uh, ND filter for this one because it's actually quite, quite dark. Maybe create some depth by... I'll take a picture of this like tagine in the front and then... Thank you. Ooh, I like this. Especially those blue, like those two blue plant pots, really nice and symmetrical. Really like the look of this blue building with the whole IKEA color scheme that's going on. I like the sharp corners here, so I'm gonna align the corner right in the middle and take a shot. Take another one a bit more zoomed in, just like this. Okay. Just trying to spice up like the classic tourist shots a bit more. Literally all I've done is I squatted down below in front of this plant. Told my sister to pose um, creating some triangles with her arms. I actually quite like this. There's such a stark color contrast here with the yellow pot and the blue. Okay. I'm not sure about this pose, but... <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like this one. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. That's cool. Mhm. Mm ah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> so we're in this horse carriage at the moment. I'm just doing some high speed, trying to capture some high speed pictures. It's quite hard because I have to react very quickly. Thank you. Bye-bye! Picking up some ridiculously long driveway. Kind of like this little building just in the center there of the image. Zoom in a bit more, boom. We are at the Sadian Tubes, I think that's how you say it. Because there's really strong lights everywhere, it's quite tricky to avoid glare in your image but I think I can manage. There we go. I'm casually being fat shamed by my parents in the background while I snap this shot of this really intricate and very detailed ornament. As you can tell there's a lot of details in these walls. I'm trying to, I just changed over from my wide angle because I'm trying to do a better job of capturing those small details. Did you? Thank you. 
I like that silhouette, especially with the hat and everything. Kind of works. There we go. One empty court for myself. Come on, bro. Yeah. Oh, no, Lisa, 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 get off. Get back. There we go. Done. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's as good as I can get it. It's just too many people. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I like the silhouette of the security guard. Okay, once they're gone. Well, now in this little, like, garden section in the Bahia Palace with lots of exotic looking plants and palm trees. I'm trying to see how I can best capture these. I really like these pink flowers as well. I can take a picture of this flower. There we go. I'm zooming in a bit to create a bit more compression in the background. Maybe lift it up slightly. There we go. Cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Just uh, with a flick of a wrist. There we go. Can okay, I take another picture of you? Thank you. Yep, impromptu little tuk tuk photo shoot. Just arrived at the camp and uh, what I want to do is I want to take a portrait of these camels. Look at them too. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. See the background seems very, very much the same regardless of which direction I face. Whoa, it is very bright. Okay, I'm going to take these at f3.5 and shutter speed all the way cranked up to the max. Okay, let me uh, not do this in self-timer. Why is this... <clears throat> Why is a llama constantly chewing? It's got nothing in its mouth. I'm not quite sure. I'll try and take a few close-up shots of it with a face, but... <laughs> it's not the most photogenic animal because it keeps moving its jaws. So you get some funny... Um... Oh, there we go. See a quick shot here, we got a nice little symmetrical kind of stairway leading up to the reception tent and we got these trees on either side, which is quite a nice shot. Right, I want to go on a quad bike. Let's see how we can make that happen. I've switched over to the wide angle lens because we're trying to take a shot of this like cool little hammock thing. So we've been waiting for uh, the sun to set to take these photos because otherwise whenever you take pictures of humans you don't really want really harsh sunlight which is why we're waiting for this kind of golden hour time. Because if there was like a beaming sun in the background of my sister her face would just be completely dark and it would be a bit like too contrasty. So the hotel we were staying at was playing music during the segment, so I'm going to voice this over to avoid copyright issues. So, using the 12mm, I took some portraits of my sister and these beautiful arches in the background. Very simple stuff, just a straight on shot. Then we moved over and we saw this like table with some Moroccan ornaments and stuff. So we just took some portraits there. I changed over to my Tamron lens and decided I wanted some extra foreground. So I just walked to the side and used this tree to get like an additional layer into the image. Then the next shot here, you can tell it's like really lovely golden hour at this point. So we just placed Lisa in a position where the golden sunshine is like directly hitting her face. And similar to the last shot, I'm using these bushes to add an extra layer to the image. And we're gonna try and take some pictures in the desert. That's a better background. 
so yeah. The thing is, those mountains look better, but you have the electrical things. This looks flat. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Maybe I should lift my camera up a bit to show more mountains. If I lower down, yeah. If I hold them up, uh, the mountains in the background look a bit higher. Otherwise, there's too much negative space, I think. <laughs> I like these the most. I'm going to do a solo silhouette look straight ahead. Cool. During night time, I used my Sigma 56 prime lens that goes down to f1.4 to take a lovely portrait next to these kind of like lights of my sister. And I also took this shot in the evening with the mist filter on. We are in a place called Caspar, which is a UNESCO World Heritage uh, village. I just had to change my settings because I was trying to take some pictures of stars yesterday. Didn't realize I don't know how to take pictures of stars. So these were the results, uh, which weren't particularly impressive. I'm going to add that to my list of things that I need to learn before I uh, try it again. Yeah, we are now on a little tour through Casper, which is the place where they filmed the Gladiator film and some of Game of Thrones, I believe. So hopefully we should be able to get some cool street, some cool street shots, some cool architecture shots and so on. I like the fact that it's just got like Coca-Cola written on it. I'm not sure if you can actually tell. I might be able, able to write it out. Mm. Nice. I'm just going to take a picture of this sign. I have no idea what it says, but it looks kind of cool. And I'm going to use that as the main subject of the image and to try and get some of the mountains in the background. Just like this. Right, so we are crossing the bridge now onto this area. I'm a bit unsure how to take pictures of things like this because like, it looks really cool, obviously, but I'm finding it slightly challenging to try and make an interesting composition out of it. When in doubt, add some foreground and see if it works. Oh, there's like a cool crack in the middle of this rock. Making a quick leading line shot of that building sandwiched between these two like at the end of the path. And if I go a bit lower, if I go a bit lower, I can get a bit more of the stairs in. Boom. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. No, 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 Right, I found myself some framing. It's just this perfect hole in the wall as if it was made for people like myself. Gotta make sure you focus on the thing in the distance and not the hole itself. This bit was super windy, so I can't really use the audio from it. But basically I'm squatting down to show more of the stairs, just taking this like leading lines picture towards the building at the top of the hill. Once we actually climbed the hill, we saw these like random stacks of stone. So I made sure to get low to the ground to have like both the sky, the mountains and the rock stacks in the picture. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>